So recently, the Booyah Bomb was released into Splatoon 2, and let me tell you, this thing is amazing! It is so much fun to use, and in my opinion, this special is literally Ink Strike 2.0. But today, we're not here to talk about how amazing the Booyah Bomb is, but instead, we're actually here to talk about how crazy its ink armor is. Because what the heck, that thing is insane! So if you guys have ever gone up against someone using a Booyah Bomb, you may have noticed that when you try to splat them in midair, it seems almost impossible to do so because of how much armor the Booyah Bomb has. But actually, it is possible to splat a Booyah Bomb user in midair. But the thing is, it just takes a really long time. So, what I decided to do is go through every single weapon and see how long it takes to splat a Booyah Bomb in midair. But, here's the thing though, I'm not actually using all the weapons because there's a lot of weapons, and that would take way too long, and yeah, I'm just gonna use the strongest weapon of each family group. So, let's get started! First up, we have the most simple of weapons, the Splatter Shot. This may not be the strongest weapon in its family group, but... The splatter shot has a base damage of 35, and as you can see, trying to splat the Booyah Bomb in midair, it takes around 24 direct shots to break the armor, which is pretty crazy. But up next, we have the .96 Gal. The .96 Gal has a base damage of 62, and it takes around 14 direct shots to take out the armor. So basically, the .96 Gal takes around half the time of what the splatter shot needs. And now we go into the Blaster Family Weapon Group. And, the weapon I decided to use is a good old regular blaster. With a base damage of 125 with a direct hit, it takes the blaster around 4 direct shots to splat the armor. Next in line we have the burst fire slash semi-auto weapons. The weapon we're gonna use is the H3 nozzle nose. And, with a base damage of 41 and being able to splat an enemy if all 3 shots connect, it requires only 6 bursts to take out the Booyah Bomb's armor. Which adds it up to a total of 18 total direct shots, which is pretty crazy actually. Up next we have the roller group. I'm gonna use the dynamo roller for this test because it, it has a base damage of 40 to 180 while being flung in the ground or midair, and it also has a damage of 125 when rolling. For this test I did both a horizontal and vertical fling, and both turned out to need at least two flings to break the armor. This also has to be one of the fastest way to break the armor. But the Dynamo Roller is a little bit slow, so it's not that efficient, actually. Next on the list is the Pesky Octobrush. With a base damage of 40 per swing, it took around 10 smacks to the face to take out the Booyah Bomb armor. I'm pretty sure if you were to smack the armor super fast, you'd probably be able to take it out a little bit quicker than I did. But now it's time for chargers. We're gonna use the E-Leader because on full charge, the E-Leader does 180 damage. And... That made it so we only needed 3 fully charged shots to break the armor. And once again, this is another fast way to take it out, but the e leader is a little bit slow, so again, I wouldn't say it's very efficient, unless you're like a super good charger. Next is the slosher group. I decided to go with the regular slosher because, well, why not, and I think it's the strongest one, I'm not entirely sure. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But, the base damage of a slosher is 70. So it took me 8 direct hits to break the armor, so it's pretty good, Slosher gets a star, or something. After the Slosher, we have the Spatling groups of weapons, and let me tell you, I had a lot of fun testing this. I say that because I want you to look at this clip, and it's pretty crazy to see how much the Booyah Bomb armor can tank. Even better though, just listen to how it sounds when you try shooting the armor with a fully charged Hydra Spatling. It's just insane! But back to the stats, the Hydra Splatling does 40 damage per shot when it's fully charged, and I have no idea how many shots it took to break the armor, but let's just say it's probably more than 10. And in my opinion, I have to say that the Hydra Splatling is probably the most efficient way to take down the Booyah Bomb's armor, because it's fast, and it's, it's really efficient. But anyways, moving on to the next group, we have the Dooleys. I decided to use the regular dualies because, well, why not, again. And they're pretty great actually. The base damage for dualies is 30, and I shot them in both different ways. I shot the dualies standing and rolling. I have no idea how many shots they were, but it's quite efficient when it comes to breaking the armor. But now we are at our final weapon group, which is the Brellas. 
For this test, I decided to use a Tenabrella because the Tenabrella does 17 to 122 damage. I think a direct hit is 122, but as you can tell, it took 4 direct hits to take out the armor. However, I made another test and this time, I decided to first throw out the Brella part and then shot the armor. And with that, it only took 3 shots to break the armor. So it's pretty good. But we're not done! I also decided to use 3 specials against the Booyah Bomb to see how much damage they could do to the armor. So let's start off with Splashdown. It does 180 damage as a direct hit and it really doesn't even make a scratch on the armor for the Booyah Bomb. So I really would not recommend using the Splashdown against the Booyah Bomb at all. If anything, you should save it once the Booyah Bomb is done throwing it, you know? Next up is the Inkjet. Each shot of an Inkjet does 120 damage, and it only required 4 direct shots to take down the Booyah Bomb. So I guess that's a pretty good special to go up against the Booyah Bomb if you're at a certain distance. But last but not least is the Bubble Blower, and I like bubbles. But when a bubble is popped and it's a direct hit, it does 250 damage, which is pretty insane actually. But with this test, all three of the bubbles connected and exploded at the same time, and it managed to actually take down the Booyah Bomb's armor. But there we go! Those are some weapons and specials showcasing how efficient they can be when taking down the Booyah Bomb's ink armor. It's pretty crazy how many shots it actually takes. If anything, it's probably better to not go for the Booyah Bomb while they're in mid-air because of how strong the armor is, but hey, that's just my opinion, you know? Still, that's it for today's video, thank you all for watching. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever we release more content. And before I head out, I have two things to say. Number one is I'm gonna make one more video talking and messing around with the Booyah Bomb, so stay tuned for that. And number two, what do you guys think about the Booyah Bomb? Tell me how much you guys enjoy it. Like, is this your favorite special or do you just hate the Booyah Bomb? Because for me, I really like it a lot. The Booyah Bomb is so much fun. It's literally Ink Strike 2.0 in my opinion. That's how I would describe it. It's just a lot of fun to use. You know? Booyahs. It's it's a it's okay. The Booyah Bomb is basically a Woomied powered Kaboomy. That's how I'm gonna describe it right there. But hey, with that being said, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, alright? See you guys.